Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Rajas of India as... Oh my god, I forgot entirely how to say anything. Uh, let's... Cass, he's just Cass. We're, we're King Cass, um... Or... Ma Maharaja? We're Cass. So, we're King Cass and, um... We have a bit of a... just a little bit of a peasant revolt. So let's deal with that. And uh, then talk about what we're going to do in this episode and the coming ones. Actually, that is a fairly short conversation because the answer is not much at all. As you may remember, we have slightly annoyed pretty much all the religious dudes by being a horrible tyrant. So they're not going to give us much piety or karma. Uh, luckily, being zealous does mostly cover that up. And with enough uh, feasts and tiger hunts, we might still be able to get that 500 karma needed for our one lifetime subjugation. Hopefully. If we can't, then maybe a claim will come through and we'll just have a little push. Just just, just a tiny one. Just so I feel like I'm doing something useful. Right, in the meantime though, let's uh, deal with a peasant revolt. Seems like a good idea. That's not going to be hard to crush at all, is it? I mean, they're like a third of my size, so... Never did seem like it was going to be a big issue. Uh, we do have these men over here. Don't need them. But um, interesting to note, the more we can have to remember to stand those down. Good. Got rid of him. Let's, uh, let's give him a good banishing. Then stand the men down. So, what to do, what to do. Uh, a mixture of waiting and um, hunting, I suppose. We still might conscript the merchant ships, though I don't see that being entirely necessary right now. Uh, we could also possibly... Temple Shipyard, we don't really want that. If anything, we would want the upgraded church, which requires church infrastructure too, which requires... Uh, another 100 economy points. Needless to say, we're not getting that, so... That's not happening, essentially. Uh, an extra... Let's see, how much is that? 10 points, and I will get the extra Temple Vassal Opinion. I mean, sure. Uh, temp, is that in there? Technology plus one. Well, good. Yeah, they're never going to like me. Uh, who, what, who do I have as a vassal? My vassals consist of mayors, bishops, and my son, who kind of likes me. Let's uh, give him mass, uh, Let's give him Seneschal. I could like me a bit more. Uh, do I have taxes? I don't, but I am working towards them. Now, I assume... Uh, let's see, gold for temple vassals liking me. Yeah, that's alright. Now, I assume... He... Yeah, the only people with a vote in this is my son and a few mayors. It's probably not going to go through because of, yeah, the whole tyrannical thing I was doing. So why don't I just kill off a few mayors and uh, hope the new ones like me a bit more. Good. Now, unfortunately, being a murderer, people also don't like me. So, you know, not great. Wasn't discovered, we're fine. Fingers, everyone. Hey. Excellent. Hmm, only 75% on this one. But we can... We can pay for it to happen. So let's do that. 20 gold to uh, replace a religious leader with somebody I like. That's a perfectly good deal to me. Get that extra karma, because obviously nothing says karmically justified like murdering priests. Three hundred karma. How old are we? Forty-three. We might live, particularly if we get managed to get the temperance. 
we get that, I think maybe it'll come with a karmic reward. Feels like it should. Definitely feels like it should. Uh, really? No tiger hunt yet? What's going on with the decisions today? Hmm. Ah, construct construction got better, so everything's a little cheaper, uh, but we're saving up for the war elephant still, so hold on to the cash. We want those elephants. I have actually got them in my other game, um, I'm a few years ahead in that one. The elephants are pretty good, they're not amazing, they're not like some sort of super awesome thing, but yeah, you know, they're pretty good, they add, they add a nice little bonus I think to an army. It's that nice little strong core that the enemy just can't quite crack, you know? It seems to work out quite well. Okay, it's late in the year. Come on, let me... Oh, let me have a feast. What's it going to be, like, three years between these things? It works out for me because I always forget to do them anyway, but since I'm not doing anything else right now, it'd be nice to have something like that to do. What happened to my murder plot? Hmm. You would come with a lot of plot power. Moral qualms, you probably won't do it. You might. What if I make you a poet and send you a gift? There we go. Let's get that priest killed. Everyone's doing something. Ooh. My sweet Lasani is terrifying when she wants something. There is nothing she wouldn't do to make me bend to her will. Now she wants me to make one of her friends Chancellor. Okay, she wants to make... Vel. Chancellor, he's 13. I have a 20. No! Oh, my wife's gonna murder me. Shame, she's quite good as well. Hmm. Got more karma than me. How very dare she? Give me that karma. Is that a thing in Buddhism? Can you give karma? That's how it works, right? It's like you you buy indulgence and you and you sort of, sort of buy someone's karma. Karma for gold. Oh my god, that's what they should have. I'm going to set up a business. Karma for gold. You do really good things, and then we give you money. No, wait, hold on. No, that doesn't make sense. Ignore that, ignore that. Also, don't steal this. I may figure out a way to make that work sometime. Where's that plot? Come on, one priest. That's all I want murdered. Oh, and the wife's pregnant. Oh, concubine's pregnant. Yeah, good enough. The other concubine's pregnant. And we have another grown-up son. This one is a little rubbish. Let's see if we can't get an alliance out of it. Or just maybe some strong people. What will that come with? Parlor? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. We get the strong trait in the family, hopefully, and we'll get an alliance with the parlor. Which, as I recall, is a Fairly, oh yes, it's definitely one of the most powerful kingdoms. How many men do they have to their name? 2,000, maybe. Damn, I could fight them. See, it's all because of the vassal thing. Right now, everybody's got very low crown authority. So the amount of vassals don't really give you that many extra troops. It's all about your personal domain. Which I am hoping to increase very shortly. Oh, you know what? You know what? Cavalry? Yeah, you're getting upgraded, because elephants count as horse archers. Because horse archers have been replaced by just like, um, ooh, legalism. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, horse archers have been replaced by a generic special troop. So whichever culture you are, you get the special troop of that type. Unless you don't, and you just get horse archers, which is most of them, I think. Oh, good, more traitors. A thousand this time. So, you know, they're trying a bit harder. At least at least they're having a good go at it this time. A thousand men, they might actually, uh... Might worry me a bit. 
mean, they won't, because I have more men than that, and probably better commanders. And we have a daughter. Any good? No, probably dead. Still, daughter's a daughter. Joyce Day and all that, yay. And so on and so forth. Victory. Finish him off. I don't know why everyone's so unhappy. I'll have to look into that. Revolt risk. Why are you revolting? There's a death cult in the area. Yeah, you know, that's a very good reason to revolt. The presence of random death cults. Oh, and we get tax now. How much? 2.8 a year. No, 28 a year. Oh, worth doing. Should always get at least small feudal tax, I find. It's barely nothing. And 10% of some of the larger vassals that you can have, particularly when you're like empire level, totally worth it. And we're nearly at 300 gold, so we can nearly get those elephant pens. Oh, we can have them now. War elephant pens. So that will be 6 war elephants plus 15% war elephant offensive, which is massive. And also it will get all the multipliers, which are quite considerable. So we might even end up with like 10 elephants. If that's how they work, they work. I don't know if that is how they work. We'll find out. Can I have a retinue? No. Retinues do are definitely based upon just the pure size of the realm. Once you get a big enough realm, you don't even need the troops from because the retinues are just too big. Lose karma? No. Gain karma? Yee, I, I don't know what the rest of that is about, but yes, gain karma. Always gain karma. Karma's good. Karma is very, very useful, and I still can't hold a damn feast. What have I done? It means I can't hold a feast. I like feasts. Get food, get a bit of drink. You and I sacrifice a few goats. What do we do with our feasts? I'm thinking of the Norse. Wait, I'm known as the dragon? Why? I really feel like I haven't done anything to deserve the title of the dragon. Maybe it's because of a trait? I've always understood this game. But I don't know. Sugula, let everyone know about my plot to kill. Oh dear. That's a problem. That is a problem. Come on, guys. Finish the plot. Oh, betrothed. Oh, cool. We're not rivals anymore. Poss possibly because she found out I was trying to kill her. Actually, that'll make a lot of sense. Um. Was she this one? Maybe? Attempted murder. Oh no, it must be that one because I tried to kill her. Nagadina? Nagadina, yeah. Sorry, I have to finish you off. Has to be done. But it is nice that we are getting... Uh... Damn, the calm from the vassals is tiny. I do definitely need to build up the churches at some point. Or just build more. It's good work. Hmm. Who knows, maybe they'll uh, build up their own things. Maybe. What are the... What are the techs? Church infrastructure is only at one. Can't be upgraded. The only thing that can be upgraded is siege equipment, which we don't need. Uh, church taxation is on none, though, so... They should be using all that money. Got to medium. Oh, that was quick. Oh, I'm fine with that. So we uh got a nice powerful realm. Is that a decent army levy now? Well, no, but we're working on it. We're working on it. We're building to something. That's the thing, guys. We're building to something. I don't know what, but we're heading for it. Come on. I think I bugged it. I don't think I'm allowed feasts anymore. Maybe... Maybe it's due to a trait? That I can't hunt or feast or do anything? 
Or maybe I have just broken it. Maybe my realm isn't big enough. Is that the wife? Is the, wa the wife died. Cool, let's get a new wife. 17 year old Bengali. Hmm. <laughs> Reasonable stats. Uh, there, go on then. Probably should have paid more attention to that, but... Oh, the gold would be nice. But the prestige, come on. That's a lot of prestige. It'll make people like us. It'll go into our dynasty. We're going to do good things, guys. Maybe not with this character, but definitely with the next one. In fact, how, how much uh, piety has the sun got? Not much. Damn, come on. Do pious things. Be nice. Stop telling people I'm trying to kill a priest. It's very unhelpful. Um, I can't... I can't do any better with that. I still can't do anything there. Oh, uh, yeah. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Not my problem. Not my problem. Let's see if there's any uh, churches we can upgrade. Hmm, all of the relevant bits. Two ninety five, we could upgrade that one. But it's not that much, to be honest. Maybe if we Oh excellent, we lose we lost uh, stressed. That's good. Um Yeah, we need monastic schools, that's what we need. Hundred and seventy seven gold and Oh, church infrastructure three, we don't have that. Never mind, never mind. Uh, oh no, don't don't beat up toddlers. How old are you? Two. Um Steer her energy? Hey, diligent. Got lucky. Oh my god, that is the worst man to plot with. <sighs> Look, even the other people don't like me anymore because I'm dishonourable. Come on, finish her. Finish her. Why is there such a low tax base for this province? Religious unrest? Yeah. Minus 50% tax modifier. Why is that? It's Buddhist. I'm Buddhist. Hmm. Maybe we need to build uh, some stuff there. You know, let's build a militia training ground. The level one of that is uh, is very efficient, so we at least want that. Hey, our war elephants are ready. Let's uh, let's go see how many we can have. Uh, there, ten. I was right. Actually, I was exactly right. Six plus all of the multipliers equals ten. Cool. And the next level would give another 10, which would give another 14, give or take. No, 15, 16, maybe about 16, 15 and a half. They, they cut one in half. Um, yeah, we definitely want that. And it doesn't take any other, actually it doesn't take any other um, modifiers, uh, any tech or anything. I really would like the money for that. Unfortunately, it's not like I can just have a war for it. Yeah, there's no Cassus Belli. Actually, there's not even a Cassus Belli just to um, for the subjugate. I would have to go all the way up here to subjugate anyone. Which, don't get me wrong, I can do. Um, it's a little harder to keep control up there, but I'd wage the war in the first place, but I can do it. 
I, I can I can do it. Would that it's not even close to the Empire I want though. I want the Deccan Empire. Maybe I need to change my culture. These guys are Tamil. I am Sinhala. That's Indo Aryan. That is Dravidian. What is my heir? Sinhala. His will be Sinhala. He can't change culture. That is a problem. A big one. So we'll have to start it at least with um, fabricating claims. Ooh, tech. Uh, I can get siege. Don't want it. Um, okay, so we've seen the problems we're going to have. They're quite, uh, they're quite significant, but otherwise we appear to be doing quite well. So thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you next time.